These are my final thoughts for the upcoming fight between David Hay and Mark DeMore. It's been three years since the Haymaker has been out of the ring. Three and a half years, in fact. So tonight at the O2 Arena, he meets Mark DeMore um, in an international heavyweight bout. His opponent, Mark DeMore, has a good knockout record, but has been already been knocked out once in his career by a gentleman called, I think, John Digger. An Australian knocked him out in a round. Worryingly, you cannot find that fight anywhere on YouTube. So you don't know how Demore got knocked out, whether he was knocked out completely cold, whether he was stopped on his feet, what sort of stoppage it was. But you do know that Demore has been stopped in the first round. And that's bad news for Mark Demore because he's actually fighting a guy who's known around the world for his punch power and his speed. In David Hay. David Hay's been out three and a half years. The last time we saw David Hay in the ring was against Derek Chisora. We all know about the brawl with him and Derek Chisora. And David Hay, five rounds. I think it was after five rounds, he uh, landed a beautiful sweet count on uh, De Derek Chisora, who was throwing a punch, which I can't describe, um, which left himself vulnerable to David's counter and knocked Chisora out. The first man to have knocked Chisora out. So it was, uh, pay does get, has power. There's no doubt about it. But there are question marks in his comeback, not being out for three and a half years. Who is David Hay been sparring on this comeback? Everyone says, well, the Mark DeMore is an easy fight. Mark DeMore is an easy fight for David Hay, who was fighting back in his prime or back when he was world champion or even when, uh, world heavyweight champion or when, even when he was, he got beat by Klitschko. That David Hay, yes, I can understand. But in 2016, joined with Shane McGuigan, and David now is in the ring, and he's 17 pounds heavier. His career heaviest. Yeah, I know he's 35 years old, but is that because David's trained right? Is that because David has, you know, he's gotten older, that the muscles packed on more? Is that the adjustment? Is Has he been under Shane McGuigan's guidance as to why he's packed in that muscle? And let's remember, David Hay against Derek Chisora, if you go back in that fight when he was in very good condition, David Hay was blown after five rounds against Derek Chisora. Now, if Mark Demore somehow can avoid Derek, uh, David Hay's big shots or can absorb David's big shots and can take him past the five rounds, how does that extra 17 pounds fit on David Hay? Does he tire? What's his stamina like? The other question is speed and reflexes. You know, coming in closer to the cruiserweight limit as a as a heavy as a heavyweight gave David speed and power and movement. Now that he's got that extra 17 pounds, that means he's going to be less able to get out of the way of punches. So that that means that Punches that he normally would have got out of the way of and avoided. He probably will take flush now because he's that much heavier. Are these things that we should be concerned about? Or is it just the fact that David's coming back, new and improved. He's going to go out there and put a tremendous performance on. I can't see how having 17 pounds on, coming back after 30, at 35 years old, you know, David Hayes is going to be better at 35 with more, with more, with more weight on. It's a chance he takes. It's a chance he takes against a man that is really up for it. And Demore knows that if he lands his big shot and David Hayes' chin is still questionable, we don't know what his chin really is like as a heavyweight because he's been fast enough to get out of the way of punches. Now, Value Earth landed, Ruiz landed, even Audley landed a jab. So, I mean, David Hayes not exactly, that, and he's got speed, power and movement. He still gets hit. And if the slow moving value could catch him, then there's no reason why Demore can't catch him. And if Demore can catch him and he can land and he can land cleanly, does that lessen the odds of a Demore upset here? I really don't know, you know, about this fight. I expect David Hay to win this fight inside the first four, three, four rounds. I really do. In fact, it could happen as, as quick as David hitting Demore and Demore falling over. It could be as quick as that. Um, and in light of everything that's happened with David Hay, 
you know, last three years with all the talk and his, you know, the things he's been saying about Anthony Joshua, the things he's been saying about he wants to fight Joshua, two fights in a fight Joshua. He's talking about Tyson Fury. He hasn't really done himself any favours in the media as far as I'm concerned. Um, David needs to go out and put a good performance on against a guy that's not that impressive. Demore is not fast of foot or hand. Demore doesn't have the greatest defence. He does have a sort of shoulder roll. Don't know how that works against David Hay. And he's there to be hit. For Demore's sake, he's going to hope that that 17 pounds does weigh on David. He's not as fast. So he might be heavier, which means he'll land. His punches might have a bit more snap on them. But he might be that slower, much slower. And if he's that slow, then it might be the opportunity Demore might get to land the shot on the chin. Let me know what you think. I'm looking forward to it. I'm out. Take care. If you like this video, don't forget to rate, subscribe and leave your comments. Thanks again.